This video is brought to you by Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve is an online store with a sexy twist. And not only that, they spoil you with 24-7 customer support. 90-day returns as well as Adam and Eve is celebrating their 50th anniversary. That's right. 2021 is number 50 for Adam and Eve. And they decided to treat you all by giving me a code for you to use. That's right. With the code JAMES, you save 50% off one item at adamandeve.com. Plus free shipping in the U.S. and Canada. And trust me when I say I have tested this code myself, you know, for research purposes. I have stocked up on all sorts of toys and goodies, you know, just to see, you know, what they're like, you know, study them, use them. You know, it's going to be so much fun. <laughs> and you should have fun too with Adam and Eve. Try them today. Ugh. Ugh. Mail time, mail time. Ugh. Ooh. I've got mail. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I have gotten some lovely gifts in my P.O. box here in Las Vegas. If you want to send me some lovely gifts, it's listed down below. Now, first of all, someone sent me this. It does not have a name on it. It's from Amazon now. It, it says time sensitive material, whatever that means. So if you sent me this and you recognize it, let me know down below and I'll give you a formal thank you. All right, here we are. It is on trend vintage. 40s, 50s, and 60s step-by-step -step hairstyle techniques and makeup tips by Bavana Champagneri. That's how it looks. Thank you so much for the book. I appreciate it. Oh my gosh. I'm sure there's some fascinating stuff in here. I can't wait to page through it some more. Eh. Wait, is there something else in here? Did I miss anything? What is that? What is that? What is that? A little slip. Oh, it's from Paul. Thank you, Paul. All I had to do was look. Okay. That's what I get for not looking around. Okay. Enjoy your gift. Hope you love these books I'm sending and you can try out some of the these historic hairstyles or just have a good read. Love from the UK. Two books coming separately from Paul, Paul Snooting. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. I didn't realize there was more coming. I need to check my P.O. box now. Oh my God. I have another package and this one was just chock full of goodies. My gosh. This is from our friend up north in Canada, Mike. Thank you, Mike. Let me make sure that's right. Is it Mike? Yeah, it's Mike. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Mike. Oh my gosh. He sent me all sorts of Canadian goodies. Okay. He sent me wire mesh rollers and bobby pins and all sorts of Canadian candy that he wants me to try out with Ernie, which is going to happen, okay? I love eating on camera. And um, what the hell is this? Big Turk, Turkish Delight Minis. Mini Turkish Delight. Okay, story time. I remember when I was younger, much, much younger, in about fifth grade, they made us read the Chronicles of Narnia, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. And Elliot in that book, talked up Turkish delight and it made it sound like it's so good. And when the teacher brought some to class so we all could try it, it tasted like dog mixed with fruit. I wonder if these are any good. They're from Nestle, so Nestle is usually pretty good when it comes to chocolate. We'll see. We shall see, all right? What is this? Wigs. Did you send me more Dollarama wigs, Mike? Honestly, this one is Envy Wig. <laughs> I'm envious right now. <laughs> what a state. $27? What the hell? That's $27 for this? Oh, we have to look at that. Okay, okay, all right. Well, good lord. Glamorous wig. <laughs> look at the little girl. Ew! Ew! Oh my god. <laughs> and you sent me two. You definitely want me to do something with those. Okay, well, we'll probably, we'll save those for the next one, for part two. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mike. I'm going to read your little card, and then we're going to get started, because I can't do a show until the whole video. Okay, it says, Dear Miss Mansfield, I hope you're having a wonderful time in Vegas. I am, thank you. Great job on the Brady wigs and any other opportunities that have come your way since Smiley Face. Thank you. Here's some wigs, some hair accessories, and some Canadian snacks in case you and Ernie want to do food videos again 
Warning, some contain nuts. Well, thank you. We don't have peanut allergies, but that's very thoughtful. I appreciate that. Enchantingly mischievous, Mike H. Oh, it's a PS here too. Shout out to Ben and Andy. They could have stopped this with like a tonguey face. So cheeky there in Canada. Hope this postcard isn't too spicy. It's a painting in my hometown art gallery. Oh, let's take a look at it. Whoa! Wow, that's a lot of butts. I can't show it on YouTube, but I'll get demonetized. Wow, that's a lot of butts. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's get started. All right, I think I'm going to transform today the Envy wig. Yes, this one right here. Look at her smirking on there. She's up to no good. Like, yeah, I'm wearing this wig, you little... <laughs> What are you gonna do to stop me? I am wearing this wig. No one knows this isn't my hair. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't like how evil she looks on the picture. <laughs> Let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna prep the wig head. I'll be <laughs> right back. Welcome back. <laughs> I'm envious, aren't you? Oh my God. It is a pretty lofty statement to call this the envy wig. <laughs> a wig you wear to be envied, yeah. I feel like the villain in like a Disney Channel film, like, you know, like the really snooty rich girl with like the really bad wet set hair. Oh, so 90s. I look at my name as like Deanna or Bridget or something. I look like Bridget Everett. Yeah, that's it. Like with wet hair. Oh man, this is definitely a, is this worth $27 you guys? Let me know down below. If I release a really, really, really costumey wig line, with hair like this and charge $27 for it, would you pay for it? Because honestly, it seems like a lucrative business venture. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> if they can get away with selling this and someone bought it, what am I doing? My God, I got in the wrong racket. Okay, well, <laughs> this is the MV wig. Are you feeling envious of me right now? I scooted on the chair and it sounded like I farted. <laughs> it, was, it wasn't a fart. It was not a fart, okay? I just scooted on the wig. I got new stools. <laughs> They're vinyl, so when I move around on it, it sounds like brr. Anyways, yes, so this is the Envy wig. I know, I know, you all are so jealous right now. I'm gonna transform this. We'll, oh, oh God, it just keeps getting worse. Okay, we'll be right back. <laughs> Hi, welcome back. I'm James Mansfield, and you're watching my YouTube channel. Oh my God, can you imagine if I actually greeted you guys like that? <laughs> okay, so I'm looking at this wig and at least there's long enough hair in it to where I can do something with it. Its bangs are sewn on in a really weird way. Like they're sewn straight down. So like the fringe just hangs flat and it's really long and curly. So like you have no choice but to keep fussing with it or pin it back. So what I'm going to do is I want to do a specific hairstyle. So I took the section of bangs and I separated it. Now I'm going to tease it like so. Go. Tease, 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 and just work my way up with it. Combine it together. Here we go. Make sure it is to the roots with my lice comb. I can't believe this actually works. <laughs> Okay, 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 yeah, here we go. All right, here we are. I'm gonna do a rolled bang. Make the top look good. I'm gonna try and do like a 1940s kind of thing, I think. It's been a while since I've done 40s. And this hair is so cheap that like you can basically mold it in anything you want. It's definitely not worth no $27, my God. Mike, did you pay $27 for this wig? I hope it was on clearance. Like, I hope and pray you did not pay full price for this because it was not worth it. Oh my goodness. I feel like I owe you money. Roll her like that. Roll, Roll her like, like that. that. Da, 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 da. Right? <laughs> now she's serving like double indemnity right now. <laughs> that good old Roger Rabbit rolled 40s bang. The film noir bang. That bang that says, I don't know how that body got on the train tracks. Okay, now that's out of the way. Let's start with our sides. I'm gonna do a rooted hairline on the sides. The hell was that? Oh, okay, it's the, right, the lice comb. Okay, here we go. Oh my goodness. These tracks are spaced apart. 
Oh boy. Okay. Well, we're gonna make it work because that's just what I do. All right. Do this. All right. Here we go. I saw a comment on my Facebook wall someone had made where they made a status about me saying, I love that Jane's Mansfield has basically started a movement of queens that are doing rude hairlines on their hard front wigs. <laughs> I don't know if that's the case, but if, like, if you started doing it to your wigs, let me know. Cause like, it is so cheap and so useful a skill to have. <laughs> like I, if, it's, if that is true, that makes me really, really happy. <laughs> Got a good root started. Let's get that vice comb back. The lousing comb. <laughs> See if I can brush it down. Ooh, for a root, that's really working. Oh my God. Okay. That worked really well for a root. I love that. Okay. Do the other side. Shoot. Now, you saw me do the root of this hairstyle on camera. I'm gonna do this other side off. I'll be <laughs> right back. All right, I am back. I got the whole front rooted out like so. Look at that, I ended the bun. I ended up just rooting the whole thing because I felt like it. I felt it looks better now, okay? And I teased out the whole wig, which didn't take me that long, honestly, because there's not a whole lot of hair in it, but it looks like something now. I like, look what a rooted hairline can do for you folks, okay? Just do it, all right? It's a little bit more work, but if your wig is cheap, just do it. Why not? Let's just make sure she's nice and solid. I'm happy with the way it came out. Now the hairstyle I want to do, I'm just gonna part it here. And we're gonna do like I said, like a 1940s kind of thing, I'm thinking. Taking a section of hair, like basically that much hair, like going around the crown and leaving some going down in the back to help cover our tracks, like in the back there. See, that's going back, this is going up. Smoothing brush. Start smoothing the hair over. Getting that nice 1940s hairstyle, that beautiful, you know, Betty Grable, pinup girl kind of hair that's so classic and everyone does it but it's there's a reason for that because it's so nice it just looks nice on almost everyone and for a while there I was really not about victory rolls because I don't know what it is when I was coming up I always thought they looked so masculine which it turns out like for fashion and everything like that when folks usually like do more research on like 40s fashions and like the reasons why hairstyles were popular like it makes a little more sense to you and you learn to appreciate them like I always thought this hairstyle was so like masculine and you know, just not very appealing. But I grew to like it because these kind of tough hairstyles were representative of like the time, you know? Women were taking more agency in like film roles and everything like that and storytelling. And the workforce, like with wars and everything. Like it was a popular hairstyle for a reason because it kept hair out of the face so they could work. And it also just looked cool. Yeah, every time I see these hairstyles, I always think of like Mildred Pierce or like those really great tough lady roles, Double Identity, oh, Film Noir, so such classic looks. Okay, here we go. That one's looking really good. Show you where we're at right now. This side is looking great. This one right here. Let's get that pinned in. Hairspray the crap out of it. All right, that's where we want that to be for now. That's okay, we're gonna smooth it up more, but I wanna make sure I get the back figured out. And there's not a whole lot of hair in it, so certain sections from certain ways are going there just to make sure it looks right. Now for the back of the wig, I'm gonna try and get this as flat as, against the head as possible, like so. And I say the hair quality in this is horrible. <laughs> like I'm shedding so much from this wig. Like it's filling up my brushes so quickly with just hair that wants to come right out of it. This is like, again, like it wasn't meant to be worn many times than once. Get one of these big old clips. We're gonna use that to clip down the hair at the back of the head so that we can do something stylish with the back of the hair. Take our breath. Oh Lord, there's a lot of hair in that. My God. Oh, what did I tell you? So much. Clump count. Wow. I just must be getting better and better at this because like, the hairstyles haven't been taking me as long as they used to. I think I know the root of the problem here. It's not staying still here because the bangs here from the rooted hairline are moving too much. So, I'm gonna pin those down the best I can. This pin just like totally bent, oh my God. <laughs> it's like a key now. 
Oh my goodness, okay. Now it's laying flatter. Just mold around with those victory rolls to get them nice and pretty. And for this back section, you may notice it's a little messy back here. So I'm going to use flowers. Oh, they all have clips on them? Thank you. That's really handy, okay. Girl, we're gonna get so gay up in here. Flower. And, because there's a lot of nesting here that we're gonna cover up with flowers. Flower. Oh, girl, she said gay rights. I love it. She killed her husband and gay rights. I love that for her. Oh my God. Yes, now that is a bad of the 1940s. She said, girl, I am making these pies. I am running this diner. That husband of mine is fighting the war. Well, I'm holding things down. Miss Minerva, move over. Okay, now I just gotta cut the hairline and she's just about done. I will be right back with the final results. <laughs> Welcome back, this is the final result. I have to say, I achieved basically the look you want for like a vintage 1940s pinup girl kind of hairstyle on a very, very cheap wig, okay? It wasn't my first choice, but you know what? It's the choice I had, okay? So here we are, it's cute, I like it. I took down the ponytail and just wore it long like that because it's kind of chic that way, you know? Like, sort of like a page boy kind of thing happening in the back. I love it. <laughs> now this wig is fabulous, but you know what is more fabulous? A wig from James Mansfield Beauty. Right here is our midnight rock star. She is a rockin' mullet hard front yes in black jet black and grooming can be an absolute drag but thankfully i have manscaped <laughs> use my code james m for 20 percent off plus free shipping at manscaped.com where you can get wonderful things like the perfect package or the lawnmower 4.0 yes your balls well thank you now thank you so much to mike for sending me this big old care package of goodies i have a few more wigs i have to try out from it so look forward to a part two okay Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye. Now hit the outro. <laughs> Click here and to be transformed knockoff Trixie Wigs from Amazon part one and two. If you don't click it, I'll delay part three of the Trixie Mattel Amazon wigs. So click it.